Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to get the chain expertise uh, count. Uh, first you have to go to PC, go to expertise, then go to uh, destruction magic and open it. You're going to need class 1 of destruction magic, then you're going to scroll down. Are you going to look for cursed magic? That one is class 2, you need a class 2, okay? So you open it too. Um, then you need go down 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 and you're gonna get magic control class one and bless class one you have them all open already okay so I mean when you have them all open then close here and you're gonna buy here with this guy in the magic shop uh, whatever city you are go to the magic shop and go this guy press buy go to magical items okay uh one thing if you want to train with uh the stones you need to get like all your stuff off you like you know mount everything you have on you like your clothes your weapons just keep healing stuff and money and then you're gonna come and you're gonna for the destruction magic you will need this stone so you can rise that expertise okay so you're gonna buy like you have your inventory let's say you have it all empty only your money and your healing stuff okay so you're gonna put all this in one corner not here because you can't move anything here but outside when you're like outside the store put uh, get all this in your depository box and then put all the stuff that you have right here like the money and the healing stuff then all these have to be empty then you're gonna buy with whatever money you have buy a lot of this stone seal stone okay buy the like double click it press max and okay then you're gonna have 20 per slot so you keep doing that until you get like all the slot full okay so for the for the curse magic you do the same thing you get naked and you have like all this space uh, empty after you train with the CO stone for the destruction magic once you have it on class one you can stop training you don't have to train it like all the way okay so you stop training you can close the, the line thing if you want and then you're gonna buy do the same get naked and buy this little stone here okay double click it max and then 20 per slot okay so you're gonna, have, gonna feel it like all okay now for the destruction magic you have to go outside this way and you're gonna look for the lost huapo demon okay as I said in other videos, uh, she's the perfect one for this because she won't uh, harm you if you hurt her. So you can attack her and she won't attack back. So you can like train with her a lot. Okay, now when you are here and you got her, the structure magic, you grab this stone, the seal stone, drag it and put it in the number one shortcut, okay? Then you walk to the Lost Huapo. I'm going to show you where exactly they are. Because this one is kind of random there. Because they're not always there. They're always right here. In this point. And I don't know why aren't they here right now. But they're supposed to be here. That's kind of weird. So anyway, they're going to be here. In this part of the map. So, two of them, right? And then you're gonna like click one. It's like aiming, and then you're gonna kill them with that one. That one, uh, the seal stone is the best one because it doesn't have cooldown, so you don't have to wait until it's cooled down the stone so you can throw it again. So you just press one in your keyboard, and you uh, keep killing her. And then you go here. I'm gonna show you that the expertise is actually rising. There you go. See until you get to class one okay when you get to class one you're gonna do this one the curse magic so we change the stones and then we go with her again we grab her and then we start with those stones 
until you get to class 2. You need this one on class 2, okay? So now we go and you see it's already rising. So you keep doing it. She won't die because this one is like a curse. It doesn't harm her. It's just like uh, lower her defense or something like that. So you can keep doing it with that one. And, and it will be cool because you will only need that this one. She won't die because of that. And then you keep using it. And, she, and this thing here is going to keep rising. You see it? Okay. Then how to uh, rise uh, magic control. I'm going to show you how. Most of you know already how to get to Babel, so I'm not going to show you the way, but I'm going to show you which stones you need. You can get them on a uh, cell tower, silver ones, silver ones on cell towers. They're going to find them there. They're called uh, Makanda stones, okay? So you need five of them. And then you need to go to this guy in Babel first and ask, uh, talk with him. Tell him you want to learn uh, control magic, and he will tell you to uh, bring those stones to him, okay? I'm going to show you which one are they, because I already have them, but I'm not going to spend them because uh, they're, like, expensive. This one right here, my candle stones, okay? So you have to go and get those. I'm going to show you what... Okay, so now we have the Structure Magic Class 1, we have Curse Magic Class 2, and now we're going to uh, the guy that needs the Makanda Stone so he can give you the uh, Control Magic Class 1, okay? So you already have all the expertise open. Uh, make sure you have them open because sometimes people come and try to do the that kind of act thingy, you know, the mission, so he can give you the uh, control magic, but you have it closed, the expertise, so you won't learn it, you know? So now we come here to this guy, St. Germain. This is the guy, you talk to him, and then you press about magic control. And then you have, it, he says you have to collect the five Macanda stones uh, so he can give you the classes, right? So you go to Cello Tower or you can buy them from uh, here. Babel have a lot of bazaars, like uh, player stores. You see them all down there. You can go one by one around the uh, town. They have a lot of them. They're like 20k each. You, you have to get collect five of them, okay? And then you come here and talk to him again. After you do that, you go and talk to him again so you get the bless uh, expertise, okay? So you go about bless, and then you have you have to find a faded earring garnet and bring it to him, okay? So, faded earring garnet, you can buy them too here in the bazaars, but if you don't know... Uh, if you know you're gonna take a long time to do it, I'm gonna show you where you can buy them. Okay, so I mean where you can get them. Sorry, so you have to go this way. I don't know why am I here. I'm sorry about that. I'm just computer is kind of laggy because of the uh, program recording the screen. Now we go down here. We go this way. Okay. Now we want to go right here. Wait. Right here. Okay. So we are right here. We need to go right here. These streets have a lot of uh, plasma balls, the blue ones. Those are the ones that have the earrings. Okay. So you have to, like, um, hunt for them. You have to go and uh, keep using the plasma balls until you get them, okay? You need only one, but sometimes it takes a long time so it can appear. 
it's like kind of rare so if you go and buy it to a bazaar it's gonna cost a little expensive maybe like 100k or something like that I never bought one so I don't really know the price but I will sell it really really expensive if I find found a lot of them because they they don't show up that easily so we go down here or yeah yeah uh the macandas uh you can as I said before you can come here in this uh place I don't know if this you can call it a dead town I guess and uh this demon is following me it's creepy I have to walk faster he's gonna punch me or something uh you have to go this way uh here you go here and you do the silver runs and then uh you get the macanda stones okay if you don't want to buy them you go right here try not to fight cuz really I'm a peace girl <laughs> uh okay let's see please give me one at least a weird one there you go there it is i got it okay so now we go back this is the one faded earring garnet you see it looks kinda weird so uh... we go back to Babel and talk to the guy okay i'm not gonna talk to him because i'm not gonna use it i mean it's really difficult to get one uh, I'll just show you how to do it. You go and talk to the guy, press, uh, uh, you press bless, and then you give him the earring, and that's it. You get the bless, and then you go to PC expertise, and you go to chain expertise, and here it's going to appear, uh, Kout, or Curse of the Wretch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's going to appear here, okay? and then you level that up I mean rise it using the skills you're gonna have one skill and that's the like the coolest one cause you like you stun all the m the demons in the room or I mean in your like where they uh, where you are and uh, uh and then you help your friends like you're an enhancer and you and you need that so you can stone them cause you're not really gonna attack you know so you're gonna uh, help them with that. You're gonna stun them all, and they're gonna stay still. And I'm gonna show you later how to get. Uh, it's like an amulet, uh, 